there's no such thing as a stupid question when it comes to understanding your home loan. I mean, this is one of the biggest purchases you're likely to make, so make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Earlier this month, we discussed saying no to lenders and having a lender say no to you. I mean, buyers are often reluctant to talk to multiple lenders because they think they're hurting their credit score by having more than one person pull their credit. Well, that might have been true in the days of the fax machine, but it's not anymore. Credit companies are much more competitive and consumer centric in their thinking. Now they treat multiple pulls from the same industry, in this case lending, within the same month to be like one inquiry, all because they want to protect your score and your ability to shop. I mean, this is a prime example of how asking a few strategic questions can help you have the smoothest road to home ownership. So another great question we wish clients would ask upfront is how do I get that super low advertised rate or savings on my monthly payment? I mean, we all hear the radio clips, see the ads online and watch the commercials. In fact, I'd be surprised if you didn't already know their phone number jingle. But if something sounds too good to be true, it often is. And often those advertised rates are for either the best qualified or financially able buyers with a ton of equity in their current home and typically require discount points to get that rate. But ask us anyway. We want you to have complete transparency when it comes to how your loan is priced and would much rather give you the answers you deserve up front rather than leave you wondering if you could get a better deal elsewhere. Any lingering doubts about what to do after closing is another great topic to bring up with your lender. I mean, ask about the size of purchases you can make now, maybe like that new sofa or bedroom furniture you've been wanting. Adding too much onto your credit cards before a certain date in the transaction could derail all the hard work you've done and require you to start the process all over again. I mean, keep them in the loop on anything important, good or bad, like a change in job status, a promotion, or unexpected financial obligations. Put yourself in their shoes. Wouldn't you want to know that stuff if you were part of a million dollar transaction? I mean, all in all, people in my profession are not big fans of surprises. And as a client, being more open to asking us things you don't know will help the process along smoothly. So don't think of asking questions as a hindrance. We want our clients to understand the crazy whirlwind process they are getting themselves into. Just like steering a canoe, it really helps if everyone is on the same page. And if you have any questions, well, I ask you, give the Ruth team a call. We're here to serve.